All right, so welcome. Hope everyone's doing great today. This is episode three of Puppy Ponders. Theodore's back there somewhere. Um, today we have Zach um, from Clean Eats. So we partnered with Clean Eats. I feel like it was just back in March when we started connecting um, recently. So it feels like so long ago now, um, March. Um, but <laughs> so thank you, Zach, for being here. We're excited to talk to you more about what you all do at Clean Eats. Um, and some talk more about um, nutrition. So thank you for being here. Absolutely, thank you for having me. Can everybody hear me okay? Yes, yeah, I can. we can hear you well. First podcast experience, so hang with me. <laughs> well, welcome. We're flattered you're on ours. So Zach, we just wanted to start off by just getting to know you a little bit more about um, what brought you to Clean Eats and kind of your kind of history and um, with food and nutrition and how you got started with that. Okay. Yeah, so I've been with the brand coming up on four years now. <clears throat> I actually, so I'm born and raised in Ohio. Um, graduated high school. I played a bunch of sports in high school, so that's how I kind of got into the health and fitness realm of things. Introduced me to weight training and eating for a different purpose. And then uh, I took that and went to college and I was working at GNC at the time and worked my way up through them. And at 19 years old, they offered me uh, my own store. So I kind of had this life path. I've always dreamed of moving out of state. So that was always a goal of mine is I wanted to go towards the beach preferably. So I was like kind of in and out on school. I really didn't know what I wanted to do with my life. I just knew I was passionate about health and fitness. So. At 19, they offered me my own store, so I kind of just take it, took it and ran with it. Uh, so I took over a store, did that for about six months, and through re the retail side of things, made a lot of connections, networked a lot of people, and had the opportunity to move to Wilmington, North Carolina. It was about, I think I just turned 21, and um, I'm 26 now for frame of reference. Uh, so I moved down there and I became a regional sales representative for a nutrition company called Cellucor. They make a pre-workout called C4, a lot of people have heard of. So what I did is I was in charge of corporate accounts. So I traveled all over the state meeting with people that also worked in the supplement field and told, taught them, trained them on our products. And just doing that, I came across a lot of people that had shared common interests with me. Uh, made a ton of connections, met a lot of awesome people, and was just in a community that was all about health and fitness and always wanted to help people reach their goals. And through that, I met the owners of Clean Eats. They actually, I, at the time I didn't know it, but they ironically, the very first location Clean Eats ever had was less than a mile from where I was living at the time. It was in the back of a strip center, about a thousand square feet, super, super small, hole in the wall, you never know it's there. Uh, so I was at an event and the owners approached me, introduced themselves and like, hey, we own this brand. Uh, and I was like, actually, that's right where I live. So they're like, come on in, and check us out. So I came in, ended up meeting with them and had a great conversation, instantly hit it off. And we just started partnering on projects. And all the Clean Eats grand openings across the state, I would show up, I would set up a booth, just train people, talk people about my products, vice versa. So we kind of just partnered together. And from there, after about six, eight months, they recruited me to come work for them. So I was with this brand, was supposed to be with it long term, things just didn't pan out like I was wanting to and I saw the opportunity that, and what they were doing as a brand was gonna be huge. I, there was no doubt in mind that this thing was gonna take off and take off big. So I went and worked for them. Uh, I did everything. Started off in the back of house, uh, line cook, counter, became a kitchen manager, front of house manager, every job under the sun. Did military delivery, so I kind of learned the in and outs of the whole brand. And then I, my parents, meanwhile, are still up in Ohio. My uh, dad run, owned a Carabas. He ran that for about 15 years. And they had always talked about my whole life, dreaming of owning their own business and wanting to work for themselves and do something where they can really connect with people. So after about six, seven months of me trying to convince them to take me serious and hear me out that we should open a franchise of one of these, they finally flew down to come visit me checked it out and they're like yeah this is super interesting like let's think about it and you, when you hear your parents say let's think about it you're like okay they're not still not taking me serious so mm -hmm. continue to work there just kept telling them how awesome it was what type of atmosphere community and culture that they were building through this brand 
And oddly enough, my grandpa actually had to go into the hospital for emergency open heart surgery. So I was living in Wilmington. So I flew home and it just so happened that the owners of the brand were opening a location less than five minutes from where we were at in the hospital up in Ohio. So the, it was just a freak occurrence that the owners were literally in the same, my hometown back in Ohio, the same time I was there. So while we were in the hospital, we had a lot of downtime. We were there for a couple of days and I told my parents, say, hey, the owners are here. They really want to meet with you guys and just talk to you. So they drove down the street, met with them. They sat down, had a 15 minute meeting and the rest is history. Parents signed the contract right then and there, went home, sold our house that we had built, boat, furniture, cars, everything, just liquidated it all. And about four months later, we all met up in Knoxville, Tennessee. This is where we always came when I was a kid, the boat at the lakes, we always came out here for vacation. So they're like, we're gonna do this. We wanna go somewhere we could see ourselves retiring and building a life. Uh, and we knew how awesome the people here in Knoxville were. So we all met up about four months later in Knoxville and now we're about three years into this thing and we're getting ready to open our third location. Wow, that's congratulations. An awesome yeah. Thank you. Yeah, I love um, how you got into it at such an early age and that's kind of yeah. all the little things that happen along the way, I think, for a really great yeah. um, like story with Queenie. So I love that. So for those... Um, listening who may not know about Clean Eats, can you just tell us a little bit more about what you all offer and what you yeah. do at Clean Eats? So we are a meal prep and healthy cafe. So we have a dine-in service. You guys can come on in and have lunch or dinner with us. We have a cafe menu you can order straight off of. Everything is calorie counted. So you're gonna have all your calories on there, uh, carbs, fats, proteins. We don't use any sodium in our products. So all of ours has no added salt or anything. Um, we, then what we're most probably known for is our meal plan service. So how that works is every Thursday, we launch an online meal plan menu. It's gonna have six total options, five of which are dinner, lunch, and one breakfast. And you order those between Thursday morning at 6 a.m. that launches, and the deadline for orders is Sunday at midnight. And we just, those orders come in over the weekend. We make the, all those meals fresh, me and my team do, between Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And then we refrigerate them, and then they're ready to be picked up by Monday morning. And the deadline for pickup is Tuesday. So that's what a lot of our, I'd say probably about 60% of my customers come with just that. They get their weekly meals. Those range from 760 down to 609 a meal. It's on a price tier. So the more you buy, the cheaper they get. So if at every, at 10 meals, it drops to 680. At 15 meals, it drops to 650, and then at 21 meals or more, it drops to 609 per meal. But there's no um, subscription. There's nothing like that. We're not going to hound you guys. Where if you want to do it one week and then the next menu that comes out, you're just not a fan. There's no commitment or long term like that. It's just based on what fulfills your lifestyle needs the most. And then lastly is our grab and go coolers. Uh, here at Farragate, we have three freezers in our dining room, and Bearden they have four. And you can walk in any day and we have over 65 options of fresh, fr fresh to frozen meals that we make all in house. They're all our own recipes. Uh, some been in our family for 20 years that we've modified made them healthier. Some are customer requests. A lot of them are from Pinterest. Um, so it's just all over the board, but those 65 options, you can find anything from keto, uh, low carb, no carb, extra protein, your standard meals. Our frame of reference is we always want to keep our meals 500 calories or less uh, with the idea of having four solid meals a day is kind of the, our, what we're always aiming for for our customers. So the breakfast are five and the dinners are 650 each and that's a flat rate. Uh, we also offer cauliflower crust pizzas. Those are 899. Um, and then we have a bunch of snacks and stuff too because we're realists and we understand that as much as eating healthy is great, we, always, we all have a sweet tooth. So we offer things like energy bites, clean crunch which is a huge hit it's like a puppy protein version of puppy chow so all these things are are things you would find out in well, you, the normal grocery stores we just try to put a healthier spin on it and make it something that you can have a little bit less guilt yeah we loved your puppy chow Nick. <laughs> <laughs> Two days. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it was delicious um I love the meal plan service that you guys do because um, for a lot of people who are super busy or like someone like me who lives um, on their own, cooking like a whole meal is not always achievable or for just a single person. So I love that the meal plan service that you guys offer. 
Yeah, we have our customer is such a wide variety. We have our business professionals who just don't have time and don't have the energy to cook healthy meals at night. Or we have families that come in, kids, mom and dad, all all eat the meal. So it's it's all over the board. But it's your everyday people more so than it is your your health your health nuts. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, so we wanted to ask you some questions specifically just about like health and nutrition and then circle back to some more questions about clean juice at the end. Yeah. yeah. So we were wondering what um, your take is on, on proper nutrition and how um, that can help us with our immunity, especially like with everything going on with the coronavirus right now, a lot of us are wondering like, what should we be eating or what can we be doing to improve our health like during this time? Right. Um, I think especially right now, that being so vital that with this, all the social distancing going on, and everybody's just kind of on on edge every day, and we just don't know what's going to happen next. It's it's just one less thing that you have to stress about if you're eating healthy. You don't have the guilt and the just the extra thing that's going to be from you eating a bad. You're like, man, I shouldn't have eaten that. Anything like that. It's just eating healthy right now. It gives you that time and energy to really invest into breaking down your diet and seeing how your body responds to certain foods or things you like, and really just taking this time to hone in on a clean, healthy diet. Um, and the immunity part, in my opinion, this isn't going deeply scientific, but in my mind, the health, the healthier food you eat, and the less your body's having to combat artificial sweeteners, sugars, all these artificials that we put in our body from unhealthy foods, the more can your body's immunity can focus on fighting off any viruses or bacteria or things like that. So yeah. it's just giving your body the vital nutrients it needs to function at its highest level is all going to come from clean, basic, healthy foods. So especially at this time, I just can't recommend people enough that whether you're eating our meals or any meals out there, just eating healthy, it's right now it's just gonna make you feel good too i mean right now everybody's under a lot of pressure a lot of stress anxiety all those things depression is such a common thing right now with everything going on and pressure everybody's under so eating healthy is only gonna reduce a little bit of that and help help the cause a little bit yeah i definitely agree with that everything that you just said one thing that you mentioned earlier that i think really is relevant is the snacking at home um, yeah. and the tendency to want to like grab like the bag of chips or whatever that's easy and convenient. Do you have any tips or recommendations for healthy snacks or how to break up um, your snacking into a more effective way? Yeah, well obviously I'm gonna, I'm gonna pitch our snacks. So the clean crunch is always a great go-to. You can use it as a cereal or a dry snack. People love it both ways. Um, the energy bites that we sell, those are a huge hit. They're oatmeal balls with all natural sweeteners. So they got honey, peanut butter. They're super filling. So you eat two of those and it instantly curbs that sweet tooth and you feel satisfied. But the biggest trick that I use personally is when I'm dieting, competing for shows, or just every life I'm really trying to clean up my diet is uh, water intake. If you drink more water, it's going to curb your appetite when you have that sweet tooth and you're looking to eat. Even right now, if we're just sitting at home and you're just bored and you're just like, you're like, oh, I'm gonna go snack on something. If you just inhale, drink more water, not only is it gonna raise your energy levels every day, but it's also gonna help you curb that sweet tooth and not wanna snack as much. It's gonna fill you up a little bit. So it helps control the urges. So that's always something I recommend to our customers is make sure you're getting your daily water. And that's an easy thing to overlook right now and not being out and about. Mm-hmm. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> Um, as far as the, the meal prepping, do you all ever offer um, tips for if people wanted to start meal prepping at home, what your guidelines are, how do you all, you said mentioned earlier that you kind of split up your meals based on like the protein and the carbohydrates and all that stuff. So if someone was just getting into meal prepping through Clean Eats or on their own, what would you recommend for how to start and what to be looking for for meal prep? The biggest thing when it comes to meal prepping is the bread and butter to it, all of it, is portion control. As Americans, we're known as having the largest portion sizes out there. A lot of other countries' portions, if you travel a lot, you'll see, be like, wow, this is, doesn't even come remotely close. Well, we're, we're just accustomed to it as a culture. So our whole concept is fundamentally based around portion control. So when I say portion control, what I generally like to tell people is 
I aim for a minimum of four ounces of protein per meal. So that is equivalent to one cup. So whatever your protein choice is, whether it's meat, uh, chicken, beef, whatever that may be, fish, um, always aim for a minimum of four ounces. That way you know you're getting sufficient amount of protein. Uh, veggies, we always aim for a cup to two cups of veggies for our meals. Veggies are they're great for you and they help fill you up. And then carbs. Carbs are always a hot button topic. Everybody, everybody loves to point the finger and blame carbs, but honestly, carbs, especially with like good sources, are a phenomenal thing. And I always recommend people keeping carbs in their diet just because they're what gives us energy for life. It's hard to compensate getting extra fat to make up for less carb intake. So don't ever, when you're trying to lose weight, don't ever make your first knee-jerk reaction to cut carbs out. That's, that's going to end up making it a lot harder for you in the long run. You'll notice some results right away from just water fluctuation, but things like sweet potatoes, rices, um, even baked potatoes, any grains, quinoa, stuff like that is always a great carb source. And we generally keep ours around one cup here or less, depending on what the meal is. Um, but that fundamentally, four ounces or a cup of protein, a cup of carbs, and then two cups of veggies for what we call like a perfectly balanced meal. That's kind of what our whole brand is based around is giving you that. That doesn't apply to every meal we do, but that's fundamentally what we function off of is portion control and limiting yourself to a perfectly balanced plate. Yeah, I think that's great. And so true what you said about um, America uh, having the biggest portions. And I think just something that Jess and I um, were talking about the other day too is just um, to stop eating when you feel like you're getting yourself full. I think yeah. that if something's on the plate, it seems like, oh, I'm just gonna keep eating it. But having that almost mindfulness um, and being aware of how your body is responding and feeling and you're like, okay, like I'm done. Like I'll save that for a snack or something instead of feeling like you have to eat it all just because it's there. Right. Um, I think it's, it goes and kind of along with what you're saying. That's why it translates right back to whatever is in front of you. We're just accustomed to it. Like you said, eating what's on the plate. So if you put the proper portions on your plate, you're, even if it's a placebo effect, you're going to still have some sort of satisfaction. If it wasn't as so much food as you're used to, just because you know you cleaned your plate mm -hmm. um, and you're not leaving it there. It's going to be rough for the first two weeks to change if you're used to eating larger portions. It's about a two-week time frame. It takes our body and stomachs to relearn what we're trying to do. But if you can get through those first two weeks, eventually you adjust to those proper portion sizes. You become much more satisfied. You'll look back a month later and be like, man, I can't imagine me eating twice this this size, what I just ate, and now I feel satisfied just eating this this perfectly portioned meal. So it's just something that we have, you gotta be patient with it, but eventually you can retrain yourself to be satisfied off that correct meal size. Do you have any advice about those weeks then for people to kind of transition their diet? It's hard, it's hard. I mean, I always level with people and you know, I don't wanna ever steer them wrong. Like it's all like sunshine and rainbows. Like, you know, it's, like I said, water is a huge thing. It's gonna help keep you feeling satisfied and full. If you wanna put some Mio or something in your water or uh, give it flavor, stuff like that throughout the day. So water is a huge thing, but those first two weeks, it's just kind of got to grit it down. And then after that, it really does become a huge burden off you that you can, you're satisfied with that. And people will come out at the end of the tunnel, a month into it, they come out so much more happy, satisfied, and filled it's worth it getting through those first two weeks of being extra little, maybe a little hungry all the time, but just drink some water. It's like, <laughs> <laughs> always drink more water. I think is the yeah, point. yeah, it really, it's helps. I'm telling you, I'm one of those guys. I carry a gallon around with me all day. People give me looks and it's not the most appealing thing, but I, 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 I swear by it. I've always been drinking a gallon of water every single day. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not, I'm not making it up. I got it right here. <laughs> yeah, we're the, we're the same, just just not with the with the giant check. <laughs> um, I mean, we've talked about a lot of different health tips already, but before we kind of switch gears, is there anything else, just generally health related, that you would like to share? Any tips um, that we haven't already touched on? I mean, I think the biggest thing right now is whether it's clean eats or anything out there uh, with everything going on. Just that I think it's important that we recognize that depression and anxiety, all those things are something that's going to become very prevalent in the society for at least the foreseeable future for what we've all gone through and such a shock to our, our culture and our system. So 
if I can just say anything, is eating healthier truly does take away that edge of depression, at least the depression, anxiety part. If you stress, if you eat unhealthy, you're going to end up stressing over gaining weight, which is going to stress over, going to be stressing over something else and something else. And it's just a collateral effect. So if I can say anything, if you have this extra time on your hands and just really use it to become and fall in love with the process of eating healthy. It's not, nothing you ever want to make it uh, a two week fix or a month fix. You, our whole, our slogan is it's a lifestyle. So that's what we preach, whether it's our customers stay with us for life or they just come in and learn how to do it and they take it on their own. Regardless, my whole mission is to help people learn how to make it a lifestyle, not just a fad, to lose some weight, make it something that's sustainable for everyday life. And that's basically what we're all about. So I would just say encourage people to really try to hone in on healthy eating with everything else. It's just one less thing you got to stress about. Yeah, I love that. I love um, that it's a lifestyle. I feel like that's very relevant to the yoga world as well. And that it's, it becomes part of your life and not just something you do, like you said, for two weeks or a month. It, it really does change the way that you see the world and how you feel about yourself. So I definitely can relate to that. So I want to talk a little bit more about clean eats again. Um, could you tell us, I'm assuming um, you all are still open. Are you, what are you offering now? Are you doing curbside pickup or how can people connect with you right now? Yeah, so both of our stores here in Knoxville are uh, open Monday through Friday, 11 to seven, and then Saturdays 11 to three, which is our normal business hours. Um, we are offering curbside pickup at each location. We have two designated cones at each store that have full directions on them. So basically you pull up, it'll give you the phone number, you call in and you can either order, or if you've already placed an order, we can pull it up, bag it, bring it out to you. You can pay from the car, or we have multiple ways you can pay online. Um, we are limiting to only two people in the cafe at a time due to social distancing. It's just a small space. The way our business works, we don't have, we can move pretty fast. So our general customer interaction is from three to five minutes. So when you're only being exposed to one counter person up front, my team that I'm working with daily is five or less. Um, so we've kept our team very small. We've kept it all internal too. So we're always surrounded by the same people. There's not a lot of moving parts there. Uh, so generally speaking, if you're going to go to a grocery store, you're going to come across minimum 50, if not a hundred people just from aisles, checking out this, that, and the other, and you're going to be able to get enough food for your family for one or two weeks. Or here you could come in and you could buy 20 meals in less than five minutes and only have, uh, encounter one person. So if you're really trying to avoid interaction, and keep your distance from people right now, it's just the most efficient way to do it. Um, we are currently offering uh, online ordering throughout the week for grab and goes as well, which we normally do not do. So if you go to our website, cleaneats.com, in the top right corner, there's an orange button that says order online. And you can actually go on there and place a cafe order. So hot food and pick up, or you can purchase uh, grab and goes and all the snacks right now too. So we have 10 options of grab and goes, which are our 10 most popular ones. We all made those, we made those specifically because we knew they're highly requested. You can order the clean crunch, the energy bites and stuff like that from your home. Uh, we get an order sent to us here at the store. It's prepaid by you online. And then you just pull up to the cone, call us, and then you literally only don't, don't have to get out of your car and you have all your meals you can need for the week. So, and then our meal plan service right now has become extremely important to people because they're able to come out one, once a week and get all the food they need, freshly made, individually packaged with minimal interaction as well. So those things we've done is to try to combat and just keep business going as much as we possibly can considering the cause but we've been very blessed just to be able to stay open so we got no complaints at all but we're just doing what we can to sanitize and make sure that everybody stays healthy and health happy and healthy <laughs> that's awesome um so one more question before we open up to q a just and i wanted to know what is your favorite meal or snack on your menu? Favorite meal? I'd probably say the Clean Eats nachos, my favorite meal. It's sweet potato fries with our shredded beef with uh, diced peppers and onions and guacamole and salsa on top. We consider it a snack. A lot of people use it as a meal, but it is good. It is good. It's probably one of our best sellers. That does sound really good. Yeah. 
Okay, I'm gonna open it up. So I'm gonna unmute everybody. If anyone has any questions for Zach about clean eats specifically or about just nutrition or diet in general, please feel free to speak up. I had a quick question. Um, so as far as like the weekly meal stuff, um, are we picking up food and taking, like if we, if I came and picked up like a whole week worth of meals, um, is it like I bring it home and I have to cook it or like freeze it or like how does that, what does that look like? So everything comes pre-cooked. It's all uh, individually packaged in uh, plastic containers. They're uh, reusable, you can use them up to seven times. They're dishwasher safe. So every meal is gonna be individually portioned inside of that container. So if you say you place 10 meals, you'd come in and those 10 options, you bag them up, you have be able to refrigerate them for up to five days. So if you pick up on Monday, you have them until Friday of that week where they're good in your refrigerator. And then if you freeze them by Friday night, they're good six more months frozen. So you have plenty uh -huh. of time uh, until they expire. So yeah, and they're all pre-cooked and they come with instructions and all that good stuff. Awesome. I have a question. Yeah. Um, how does how does that compare? My husband's on Weight Watchers. He's been on Weight Weight Watchers for a million years because he gains weight easily. <laughs> so how does how do you how do your meals compare to a Weight Watcher program or points or? Yeah. So actually, our uh, our online ordering the online meal plans that we do Thursday through Sunday those actually have Weight Watcher points on them. So oh, they do. Okay. Yeah, we've actually partnered with the Weight Watcher uh, team as a brand and we're working on integrating our entire concept to have Weight Watcher points. It's just from the back end, it's, we're trying to learn exactly how to do it. But the weekly meal plan menus that come out online, those actually have the points on every single meal oh. that we do. Okay, that's great. That's great. Now I have another place I can go now and have to cook. I have another question. So do you guys, um, you said you guys don't use like, preservatives and stuff like that. So are you guys like sugar free? You only use like natural things for sugars? Like, kind of yes. Yeah, so we use natural sweeteners like Stevia and Splenda and stuff like that. Uh, and our, so everything, our drinks that we offer in house is in fruit, fruit infused water. So it's really just fruit that we cut up and let sit for 24 hours in water. Um, we have our own chef made like lemonades that are all naturally sweetened. And then we use unsweetened tea as well like berry teas and then and all of our sauces are uh, house chef made as well. So we're gonna have, you're gonna have a little bit of sugar content in the sauces, but we do sell them out front. So you can actually pull the bottles yourself and look at the ingredient profiles on them and see what's in there and what the, we have a full macro sheet as well. So if you come in and ask for it, we have a whole booklet that tells you exactly what's in everything that we do and every single product that we have. So. We don't add anything to it, and all of our sugar and sodium content is going to be extremely low. That's awesome. Good question so far. Any more questions for Zach? Where are you located? I know you said Bearden and Farragut, but where? So I am the, on the gym at the Farragut location. This location here, we're right out in front of Farragut High School. It's uh, West End Plaza. Uh, there's a McDonald's, a tire discount, and we're right there back on the left in that plaza. And then the Bearden location is off Paper Mill Exit. They're right by uh, East Shore by the tracks. And that, there's a Marriott right there. Salsaritas, they're in a plaza right there on the backside in front of that Marriott. Um, and then we are having a Maryville location coming in about three to four months from now, we'll be opening up, which is by the Planet Fitness out there in Maryville. So. Okay. so I probably shouldn't ask this because you are a healthy place. <laughs> Do you have like sweet things? Yeah. Like healthy yeah. sweet things? Yeah, the, uh, the Clean Crunch, which people go crazy about, uh, it tastes just like real puppy chow. You wouldn't even tell that there's protein powder in it. And it is, it has chocolate in it and stuff like that. So these are all curves. We just add stuff, something to it to try to make it healthier on top of that. And then we cut back on portion control as well. Uh, the energy bites are probably one of the things that I always recommend to my sweet tooth people because the honey 
Uh, some of them have cranberries in it, stuff like that, where you get that natural sugar from those products really curbs that sweet tooth. I'm, I'm a huge sweet tooth guy, so I can I can attest to those help me out a lot. Cool, thanks. Well, I have a question. Another question. Yeah. What about um, the clean crunch and the energy bites? Um, are they do, do they melt if it's warm? Um, we hike a lot, so are they okay to put in a backpack to you know yeah. eat while you're hiking or? The, the clean crunch might melt because it's chocolate, depending on how warm it is out. Um, but the energy bites would, would travel very well because they're an oatmeal base. So even if they were to loosen up, they would they would still be just as fine. But the clean crunch, depending on the flavor, yeah. It wouldn't get gooey or anything like the chocolate would then? No. Okay. Yeah. And they'd be great for hiking because that it would give you that extra sugar and the carbs that keep you energized. Well, and it would be good sugar and not this <laughs> not the stuff you get in the granola bars you buy in the store. Exactly. exactly. Okay. Do we have any more questions? Okay. Well, I just want to say thank you, Zach, again so much for taking your time and for being here with us to talk about clean eats and health and nutrition. I feel like I definitely learned some good tips that I will be using um, now in the quarantine and hopefully keeping up with them after. <laughs> um, so thank you so much. Um, we will include. Um, how to get in contact with you when we post this podcast to our on demand. Anything from you, Jess? No, thank you, Jack. And um, I do have one last question. What is your favorite thing so far about Knoxville? Favorite thing? <laughs> it's important, guys. <laughs> Other than the people, I would say the lakes, but just the people. I mean, the culture down here, coming from up north, it's, I can attest to how it is out there. It, it, it's just everybody's so friendly and you can sit next to somebody for the first time and they'll talk to you like you've been friends for life so the people and just how inviting everybody's been to our family especially not from being around here it's been it's been amazing so the community that we've become a part of is definitely the thing that i've grown to appreciate the most it's a good answer i would say <laughs> so thank you so much zach and we're very happy to partner with zach so um so yeah, that's wonderful. Thank you. And um, we're happy that Clean Eats is in our neighborhood. Well, I appreciate you guys so much for having me on. And we look forward to doing some more events together once this is all over and behind us. <laughs> and we can get out there, be out in the community, do some fun stuff to give back to people. Definitely. Absolutely. We need to celebrate. <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. Exactly. I I'm going to come take a class too. I'm, yes. I'm, just all done. I'm going to come in. Not real classes. Come take it. All right. <laughs> Right, All right, thank you guys. Have a wonderful day. Have a good, good day, guys.